tell us what's going on. Well, as you can see, we're surrounded by about seven police officers for some reason because we're Staying on the on pavement waiting to demonstrate against this ridiculous uh, big business fundraising effort by the Liberal Party. And this is what Victoria Police needs to do in order for us to, uh, in order for them to get away with it. We're not even, you know, um, we're not even representing any threat at this stage. We're not even doing anything. We're just actually congregating on the street here. So, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so here we are today, Thursday the 28th of August. It's about 5.30 p.m. The uh, organisers of the tunnel picket have called uh, people that are against the East-West Link to come and protest the Liberals' big business fundraising dinner. What's happening here today is that all the Liberal Party's mates in the oil, the road, the trucking lobbies are paying $10,000 a head to let the, get the Liberals to do their dirty work for them, to build projects like the East-West Toll Road. We're saying we've had enough corruption, we've had enough of corporate interests dictating our politics, and we want public transport, not a toll road that's only going to benefit the super rich. So that's why we're here today, to um, put a damper on their night, because $10,000 is a lot of money for us, we can't just throw it away on a dinner. It seems that they're a bit anxious, considering that there are a few of us here already. It looks like they're eager to kind of like um, nip it in the bud as quick as possible, but we're here to stay. We're not going to be intimidated um, by uh, the police being used in this political manner because we have the democratic right to protest, we're on the footpath, we have a right to be here and so um, we don't think that the p police are being used effectively tonight, we would rather them out be solving real crimes. We're here to say that we don't want the East West Link to be built, it's a total waste of money and the money, the $18 billion that the government plans to spend on the East West Link needs to be diverted to a major expansion of public transport. Council legal challenge. A date has been set down for the legal challenge of 15th of December, which is actually after the state elections. And by rights, that means the government shouldn't be trying to rush through the signing of contracts on the East West Link before the election. They should be waiting until after the election uh, and waiting until the people have actually had a chance to vote on this project. Okay, we're here today because there's a clear conflict of interest in taking money from people who want to build another road that's going to eat up all the money that should be going into public transport and to build better roads in parts of Victoria that sorely need them. We protested the Moreland community against the East-West Tunnel. We protested at the zoo and they shut down the Elliott uh, ramps, off ramps there, and we're protesting here to shut down the rest of that road. It's a bad expenditure. Dollars need to be spent out where. And as four more people come from six o'clock, we'll get a second row around here, and we'll also get the other doors down the back covered where the port team are. Election come November 29th. What do we want? Public transport. Yeah. 
Public transport. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Public transport. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Public transport. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Public transport. When do we want it? Now. Well, the link between the mafia and what's going on here is that in Naples and southern Italy, for instance, all major cities are controlled by developers with mafia links who actually pay politicians off, just as what's happening here tonight, the politicians are being paid off in order to secure contracts. And we have a classic example of that in New South Wales and in Queensland in Australian history, New South Wales right now, where politicians have been paid by developers, and both Liberal and Labor, as it works out, but down here Napdon's having what we call have to be called a snouts in the trough function. The snouts in the trough is you put your money in to the Liberal Party pool and we'll guarantee you get contracts. Why else would a Liberal Party, would a politician do that other than to corrupt the system? In New South Wales it's illegal. It hasn't stopped it completely but in Victoria, Napdine continues to operate on a system where you, it's called payola. You pay me and I'll give you back a benefit. Yeah, but it's a public venue. The management are going to want you to move. Well, okay. I'm happy to foot pass. Thank you very much, much as you are.
stay where you are, link arms tight, and we're going to see if we can shut this joint down here tonight because we're not going to allow this big business corruption to take place here the way it's going on.
Police are being pretty violent, they're pushing people in the back. We're standing here quite peacefully, trying hold to hold our ground. Hold the line! And police are just pushing against us. And they're telling us they're not being violent, but quite clearly they are. They're pushing people over, um, grabbing onto people by the back of the neck, using pressure grips. which is basically what they're doing now. They must really believe in it, huh? I don't think they do believe in it. And I think if they just went home right now, people of Victoria would applaud them for it. Hey! What's your name? Hey, I saw a picture there. I got your name. I saw a picture there. I saw a picture there. I saw a picture there. I saw a No police violence. What is that? public safety. No, 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 Liberal Party fundraiser is closed for this evening. Has anybody got any water? Sorry, what do I do? Get some water? Democracy is not for sale. We, a lot of us would need a drink. Yeah. Where are the street medics? Oh, I'll pay you, you go get them. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay for the pizza. They need a drink too, don't you? The coppers need a drink too. The coppers are working too hard. It's not health and safety issues for the police. No. Stop packing these 
This guy's on steroids! This guy's on steroids! You're creep! It's unconscionable what you people are doing! It's unconscionable! How do you sleep at night? You got blood on your hands!
fulfill their purpose in order to facilitate their election campaign. This is the way that this Naphtali government does business. And by the way, they are all assisted by the Victoria Police. You would think these coppers might have something better to do than to come and protect a bunch of big business corps and some MPs who won't be up front with the public. We just need to remind people that the reason we're protesting against this East West Link is that it's a financial disaster, it's an economic disaster, and it's a social disaster. And we're not going to allow it to happen on our watch. Yeah, look, obviously, um, this, the Liberal government needed hundreds of police here tonight to facilitate this function, whereby they were you know, making an appeal to the big business elite of this state they are going to benefit from this East West Link. Um, we've put that in, we've, you know, we've shown the public that that's what's going on, and we think in, you know, in, in that way we have achieved our aim, absolutely. Do you think potential investors got the message that there's a lot of people unhappy? Well, I don't think there was a huge amount of people going in there tonight, and I think that you know, I think that investors are getting the message. I mean, the main thing that we're trying to send a message is to both the major parties that we do not want this project to go ahead. The Labor Party needs to pledge to rip up the contracts, and this government, unless they want to be annihilated in the, at, at the November 29 election, they're going to have to back out of this as well. There are a few ministers who, uh, who did come... I guess face to face with you guys, the Premier didn't. Uh, you disappointed you didn't get a chance to oh. personally put the message to him? Yeah, we're not surprised the Premier had to sneak in the back door because obviously he's trying to, you know, hide, hide what's going on here. He's trying to hide the fact that he's making an appeal to the big business elite to fill the coppers of his party with a wink and, and a nod that they are going to be given contracts for this East West Link. Contracts and a, for, a, you know, for a project that no one has seen a business case for. It's dodgy from top to bottom, and that's what we're protesting about here tonight. There were a couple of um, people that looked like a few elderly ladies um, caught up in a bit of the scuffle. Um, it's not a great look. Do you think that is productive? Look, I, I think the problem has been is that we've had 100 or more coppers here tonight pushing and shoving people around at what was intended to be a peaceful protest. The only people that have been pushing is the Victoria Police. And what are they doing here anyway? Have they not got something socially useful to do rather than come here to Collins Street and facilitate a corrupt process whereby, you know, big business are handing over, you know, $10,000 a table to the Liberal Party. I mean, it's absolutely outrageous that the police are involved in this. You've obviously envisaged more protests. What else can we expect between now and November 29? Look, any further preliminary works that this government wants to do, they'll be picketed. Um, we're going to be targeting Labor Party MPs. We're going to be targeting government target, you know, government MPs and, and also big business targets as well. But anyone who wants to get involved in this project can consider themselves you know, a target for protests in the future. How can you describe tonight as a success? Look, nobody knew what was going on here tonight. We've got a situation where big business... You know, the government's making an appeal to big business to fill their coppers in the lead-up to the election. All, this, is the, this is the road lobby, the oil lobby, the big transport firms that are here tonight. Um, this is who Napton is specifically making a, an appeal to. These are the people that are going to benefit from the East-West Link. Not commuters who are going to be paying exorbitant tolls, not the local community, not the environment, nothing else. It's only these people inside here tonight that are going to benefit from the East-West Link, and that's what we were trying to prove. And we think, on that count, absolutely, we've, we've shown that to everyone tonight. Anything else you want to say? I think people need to know. Uh, I think that's about so, it. Can you just spell your name for us? Just um, Anthony Main, M A I N. And uh, what's your title with you? Uh, just one of the protest yeah, Beautiful. Thanks, Anthony. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Cheers. Great. Cheers. See you next one.